management process area, um, which is included with availability management. We bundle them together, much like asset and configuration management. Today we'll be looking at uh, this particular dashboard, which would be applicable for products like Netcool, BMC, BPPM slash TrueSight, HP ITOM, uh, and SolarWinds as well. So uh, let's get started. Well, first we're going to leverage the concepts from our previous video on best practices for dashboard creation, which was released last month. Uh, but then we're going to use the KPIs and measures specific to the event management discipline. Okay, so remember the concepts from best practices and dashboard creation where we're going to start with the aggregate level. So we're going to put our KPIs at the top here, um, KPIs and metrics at the top at the aggregate level. Then we're going to have the time series analysis, and then we'll have the details so you can drill down into the grain. Okay, we'll start with... Um, with our first KPI, I already put the KPI widget out there from uh, you know, Power BI, and if you remember, it is um, the KPI widget natively uh, works with analysis services, which is really nice. Um, a lot of people like that. Um, so anyway, we're but we're going to start with event duration because that's one of the measures. Uh, that's one of the KPIs that uh, differentiates Northcraft Analytics. So we're going to do event duration, okay? Um, and let me open that up, okay? And so for a KPI, you need the value, you need the goal, and then you need the trend. And for the trend, you want to use the date. So we've got one of our time dimensions here, and we'll do month, okay? So uh, the average event duration, this is in minutes, so it's 16.4 minutes. And uh, it would be going down, but this is what this uh, graph would indicate. This is coming from your actual data. The thing is, um, this is demo data, so it's, it's not totally applicable. Okay, but anyway, next we're going to use a card widget, okay? And this is going to be to show, you know, the total number of events critical, okay? Uh, another common one. I'll do my metadata search here through the BI and add that. It makes it a little bit faster. Okay, so this is, you know, we have no time filters at this point, and I'm not going to add any because we're going to use our time series analysis below, and you can use those as filters. But anyway, so this is 9,151 total critical events. Okay, next I want to show the multi-row card widget because it's new with uh, Power BI, or it's, it's different with Power BI, and I kind of like that. One of the features I like. So I can put multiple measures on one page. Okay, so we're going to put in events closed, okay, on that widget. We'll do events total, okay, um, and watch those numbers pop back pretty quickly there. Um, so that's 1.224 million um, events closed, 1.389 total. And then we'll do percentage of events open, events open, okay. Um, percentage of events open. And then we'll do percentage of events with service assigned. The reason I'm showing this now is because these are actually business services and technical services that have been configured into the um, the monitoring tool. Oh, let me do percentage of events. Uh, yeah, there we go. Let me do percentage. Okay, um, there we go. Okay, so yeah, um, we do have the ability to take advantage of technical services and business services and then combine that in with your data, mash it up, uh, but that's a topic of another video. So anyway, to continue on here, next we're going to do percentage of critical events critical by month. Okay, so percentage of events critical. Okay, so I'm going to do a KPI widget, <clears throat> okay, drop that on there, then do percentage of events critical. Remember you need, of course, the, uh, you know, not only the uh, value, but also the, uh, the date, as I mentioned before. So you can do value, goal, and, and trend. Um, and we'll do, let's see, what year? Yeah, okay. Okay, so percentage of events critical by year is going up. Next is the time series analysis. So here we're just going to do the simple um, events total. Okay, and I'm going to do a bar graph. Um, the bar graph is good for this particular scenario. Um, 
And so I'm going to do events total. There we go. And then we want to show that by month. So let me do that. So just click on month. And you'll notice how you know that goes across all of time again. But each of these are time filters. You could build a filter into the page or the report. Okay, um, if you like, um, and you can use these slicers. That's a good way to do that. Um, just take a slicer, and then that would make it where the user could interact with a date. If you didn't want, if you just wanted certain data filtered and nobody to know it, that's when you make it a page or report level filter. Okay, and then finally, we want the, one of the biggest advantages of Northcraft is that you can drill down to the grain so quickly. Um, on large data sets. So we're going to bring in our traditional now table. Uh, and then for events, the fields and attributes that we, we might want to take a look at. I'll give you some examples. And I'm going to protect some confidential information in our data set when I do this. But um, we'll put in, from the event dimensions, we'll put in things like, um, we'll do, um, Severity. It's in the classification. Sorry. Um, priority, severity, status. Okay. Um, if you wanted, I think original priority and original severity. To see if they had, to, if it had changed, would actually be some interesting information there. Been upgraded or not? Um, put in things like the owner. I won't put in, uh, you know, the location. Incident ID would be if you were generally, if you were. Um, if you were generating incidents from an event, you might want to know which one it were related to. It's pretty helpful. But anyway, the, the bottom line is here. Now, we've created our dashboard, so I'm going to hide this, and you can take a look at the visualization. The, all the data is connected. So when I look at December, now we can see our average event duration. Notice how I can look at my percentage of events critical. I might actually want to have a bar and line chart where this is the line percentage of events critical, so I could see when it peaked. Now that I think about it, that's something we go back and add later. But anyway, um, you'll notice how my uh, data is acting as a filter by the month. As we hover over it, we see October, we had 166,000 uh, total events and 506 critical, but our duration was, you know, fair, it was higher fit at 50 minutes than usual. Um, 64.8, 49.1, and so on and so forth. So you notice how the, the information adjusts, as well as the information below, which I think is incredibly amazing and fast in terms of the way that Power BI handles the uh, connected detailed data. So you can see that all adjusting. Okay, so that's an example of our event management dashboard. We'll show an availability management dashboard in one of the coming videos. But I want to start with events simply and highlight one of our differentiators, which is the ability to calculate event duration. There are some things, just to point out overall, for all of the different BI applications we provide, where we can put in measures and calculations that, uh, number one, they're not in the app. They're not a part of it. They wouldn't be part of a standard implementation. And... Um, and then number two, you know, we can use the advanced types of formulas, um, such as statistical formulas uh, like median and standard deviation and such, which you've seen in some of our other videos if you've been watching. That's it for today. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks for your time.